Look, I th uh, I'm afraid, uh, starting with the gentleman there who, who um, made the point, you're guilty of hearing what you wanted to hear rather than what I said. I did not attack those who supported uh, or who were against, sorry, uh, the Ground Zero Mosque. I did not say that. I understand the debate. It's not a debate that we're having tonight. I attacked two of the personalities involved in spreading a particular vitriol around that debate. And I named both of those individuals, and it was about the individuals as examples of people I would regard as being beyond the pale. That's the first point. The second point is you go on to speak about the EDL having a Jewish division, a gay division, and so on, as if this should sanitize the organization. Well, Natura Carter, go and meet with Ahmadinejad. Are we going to hold that up as an example of sanitizing him, right? People always say, where are the Muslims? Well, I speak as a Muslim. I've been engaged in this work and working with people against Islamism in this country. There are lots of Muslims in this room who do, and yet, we are very quick, we do it ourselves, I do it, in identifying Islamists by their words, by their associations, by their platforms, taking them at their own value by the words that they say. And yet, we are expected, on the flip side, to reverse our values when it comes to people who oppose Islamism, or say they do, such as the EDL, and then we're being told, where are the Muslims? Well, this is from the spokesman of the EDL. The video is on YouTube, it was transcribed today in our office. Allah, fuck it. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm not being funny. Fuck them. I'm going to get arrested for this shit, but fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. I'm not having it. Fuck them. Now that's from Gurmjit Singh. This is the head of the EDL. This is a spokesman for the EDL. You want to talk more about the EDL today? A good colleague of mine sat at the back, sent those pictures through from the Facebook pictures of prominent EDL members, swastikas, combat 18 symbols. If you want to throw your values out the window just because someone says that they're anti-Islamist, you can do that. But I will not be part of that movement. We are only going to win this on the basis of values and the equal application of those values. And this is where, unfortunately, too much of the debate on the right has been lost. And I will identify with, I think the reason Douglas identified himself as a small C conservative is because he believes I'm a large C conservative. But uh, regardless of that, this is a side of the debate that I feel passionate about. The left is not uh, ultimately where I see myself engaging, but I feel disheartened with the way I see this debate going, and I'm afraid, um, despite you emailing me just a couple of weeks ago, this is where I feel it's very difficult for us to work together because I will not uh, compromise my values and principles for a short-term uh, gain. Thank you very much. <clears throat> if we look at the reasons why, not just the left, but also um, the anti-globalization movement and human rights organization do not, do not stand by us, to put it mildly, because I think they are our worst enemies at some point. I think on the one hand there's this intellectual laziness, which prevents them from analyzing the problem of the Muslim right, of Muslim fundamentalism in political terms rather than in religious terms. And also the belief that fundamentalists are a popular resistance that needs to be supported, a resistance of the wretched of the earth. Well, we perfectly know that all classes are represented amongst fundamentalists. They also believe that fundamentalists are anti-capitalists, which of course they are not. So if we look at these uh, reasons, maybe we can target better the number of people who believe that they should not oppose fundamentalism. If I can say one thing, not on the left, but on human rights organizations, because maybe it will be less discussed, um, they focus on state accountability, at least they claim that they will only focus on state accountability because only states are signatories to international treaties. But we know very well that when states target communists, for instance, they don't stand up in the way they stand when the state attacks fundamentalists in some countries. There's also an enormous difference between the means that they put into the defense of fundamentalists and the means they put into the defense of their victims. Uh, just to give two examples, the European tour of Mozambique was organized by Inter, uh, Amnesty International and the Center for Constitutional Rights in the US just put a lot of money in defending our lucky 
who is the number two of Al-Qaeda in the Arabic Peninsula. They also withhold information which we give them. They don't put them in, in their uh, annual report. I'll stop there. Um, just want to remind you that on Monday it will be the first anniversary of Gita Segal being kicked out of Amnesty International. I think we should support her. Thank you very much.